Good morning and welcome to the channel. This morning we're planning on leaving the Strand again and uh, heading to Prince Albert, there where we left off the last time. And uh, I've got a, something planned that I'd like to show you when we reach Prince Albert, uh, which is quite awesome. That will be in the next episode. But yeah, from here we're going to go up Solaris Pass through to Grabo. And then from Grabo, there's another pass called Fulunz Pass, which we want to enjoy and show you, share with you. And then go up through past Worcester, up onto the national road called the N1, and then that way through to Prince Albert. It's about 397, Google Maps says it is, 397 kilometers. Um, and then we'll see what we do when we reach Prince Albert. So let's get going. This is here from the viewpoint from the top of Sir Lowry's Pass. Some interesting bit of information about Sir Lowry's Pass that we just went over. It was completed in July of 1830 and it's about 420 meters high well it virtually comes from sea level up so that's pretty almost 200 years old almost 200 years old it's really interesting we've stopped here at the orchard uh, we've been here before our first video that we did we came to the orchard and that lady made us brilliant cappuccinos but um, we stopped here specifically because we're coming to get moss bullockies I'm telling you, they are stunning. It's like an anise type of bread that you get. Um, but it's specifically, it originates from here in the, in the um, winelands of the Western Cape. So that's why it's a traditional South African thing that we, we really love. I love it. This is it, the orchard. That's our little car we're driving. A little Renault Quid. But yeah, it's a beautiful area just outside of Grabo. A nice pit stop if you ever come past this way well let's go inside and see what we can get okay thank you check check freshly baked just out of the oven look at this <laughs> stunning thank you so much you can go through thank you well, we're taking one right now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Look at this. Okay, we've just pulled in here at uh, Peregrine. And I'll turn the camera around and show you. Peregrine, it's another farm store, but it's a massive farm store. It's huge. Um, very busy. Also just outside of Grabo, about five kilometers from the orchard. The other one that we stopped at. But check this steam engine. This is old. Whoa. Hi. Hi there. Two garlic baguettes. This is just a place here behind Peregrine. Nice old fire truck. You call the tractors. Place for the kids to play. we get into the start of what's called Fulhoun's Pass.
we've just turned off to a little town called Mikey's Fontaine. But it's it's a unique little place because it's one of the smaller towns in the Karoo and it's still most probably very original to what it was like in the many years back. So it gets visited by many people. And it's just off of the National Road, the N1. That's the Lord Milner. Is that the Lord Milner? touristy little town <laughs> London bus yeah London bus yeah in the middle of the Karoo in South Africa petrol pumps. petrol pumps again wow they're not operational no nah. Post office. You know what this town reminds me of? Um, what's that mining town up in the Lumpopo? Oh, yeah, Pilgrim's, Pilgrim's Rest. Rest. Very similar to Pilgrim's so Rest. They all have good here on the oh. This is the hotel. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mikey's Fontaine Museum. Dirt roads. Hey, we're doing some dirt roads today. <laughs> I didn't think we we're gonna get any. We've got them. 1897. So these all seem to be have been built more or less. Oh, the 1895. Same. 95. So it's still older. Village office bank. The coffee house. Well, if that was Mikey's Fontaine, we've seen it. Very cool. Very, very cool. Well, let's get going again. Okay, you can fill up for me, please, Frederick. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Yes, 
this looks just like a lookout tower or outpost where you could stick rifles out. I'm sure you can see there where they can stick the rifles out the sides. I don't know if it had anything to do with the English Boer War or what it was. Maybe someone can help me in the comments below. So we've arrived at um, Prince Albert. What we're planning on doing is um, in the next episode we would like to go through the Swartberg Pass and um, show that to you. It's a very well renowned pass in the area. So if you enjoyed this video please subscribe down below and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.